Hello there, welcome to Advanced Anatomy and Physiology, and also welcome to Brightspace. I am going to show you a couple of things in Brightspace to get you going. Um, this core, first of all, this course is work at your own pace. Uh, everything is due on August 12th, so um, you can, I mean, I recommend that you go with a flow that is consistent with the calendar that I have and the syllabus. But uh, again, you can work at your own pace. Some students uh, do a lot of the work really early on and enjoy the rest of their summer. Other students uh, pace it to doing one unit uh, per week. There are 12 units. Um, and other students wait until the last two or three weeks and then do everything. So it's really up to you how you want to do it. Um, so yeah, bright space. Let's take a look at that. This is my first time using it. Um, I think I have everything set up. Uh, if not, just send me an email and uh, we'll get everything going. But uh, on the landing page, you'll find announcements. I'll have an announcement. Uh, welcome, and uh, I'll have a welcome announcement that'll have the link to this video as well. And then you can also find hyperlinks to other sections uh, in here as well. Um, generally, uh, content is where I would recommend going. So when you go to content, um, you're going to go to uh, the syllabus and instructor info. And here you'll find some of my instructor information, but more importantly, you'll find the course syllabus here. Um, and within the syllabus, I'll open that. Within the syllabus, um, you'll find some of the basics of uh, the course itself, the start date and end date. It says 810, but I will accept things 48 hours after that. So 812 is what I have as the due date. Um, there's my Zoom room if we ever need to meet for any reason. Uh, I do have office hours uh, 12 to 2 on Wednesdays, but um, generally speaking, you know, I can get everything taken care of via phone, uh, not phone, via email. I mean, I don't, phones are out unless it's texting, but, uh, generally if you send me an email, uh, with your questions, I can get those answered pretty quickly. If we do need to meet in zoom though, uh, we can do that as well. Uh, as far as textbooks go, uh, oh, by the way, this semester, I should go back up here real quick, uh, uh, what are we doing in advanced AMP? Well, we're going after uh, the more micro scale level, uh, cellular and chemical levels. So uh, there will be some uh, some chemistry uh, in the class. But again, uh, I make it very straightforward and uh, again, uh, uh, relatively enjoyable. So let's see, we I use OpenStax uh, or I recommend OpenStax. Uh, you know, it's pretty much uh, has everything you'd need in it as far as uh, reference material for AMP. I know a lot of you use YouTube, and uh, I have Padlet boards that you'll be using as well. Um, so there are a million ways to find information. Certainly, Google uh, is full of great info. Uh, the McGraw Hill Connect, uh, the course link is in here, so you can access it that way. You can also get to it through Desire to Learn. Um, there's, uh, let's see. Oh, and by the way, McGraw Hill. If you had McGraw Hill for general AMP at Gateway, uh, you'll be able to go right in through this course link. Um, if you are just new to Gateway or have never had McGraw Hill, uh, you you would purchase the Biology Lab, uh, McGraw Hill, not the APR. Um, you can email me and I'll give you the link for that. Uh, if that's the case. So if you have trouble with McGraw-Hill, just send me an email and I'll get you straightened out that way. Um, let's see. Oh, the other thing, you can do a two-week free trial if you don't own McGraw-Hill. You didn't take uh, General AMP and you, you never bought McGraw-Hill. Um, you're you're going to need it, but uh, it, you, know, you could potentially get the labs done in two weeks and you do get a free, you can opt for a free two-week trial. So uh, so that's an option too. So anyway, I have a video uh, in my YouTube channel for this course that uh, explains more uh, about uh, McGraw-Hill and getting all set up that way. All right, so the rest of this is just your basic stuff. All right, how are you going to get graded? 
Uh, the course is out of 1,200 points. Um, so these are the ranges that you're going to see and that you're going to go through. Um, generally, if you get to around 1080, that's an A. I usually don't give A minuses. Uh, if you make it to 1080, you get a solid A. Um, as soon as you finish uh, and get to where you want to be, uh, you know, if you work, you work at your own pace. So if you five, six weeks from now, if you're done with the course, um, I'll submit your grade to the registrar to, you know, so you don't have to wait till all the way to the end of August, but anyway, or middle of August. All right. So what do you have to do to get to 1200? You really have, uh, four items to do, uh, 12 times. So you're going to have 12, uh, padlets. Uh, you have to make a comment under one video. Um, you're going to have, uh, and then you have to take a, a short, just a true or false question in, uh, desire to learn or bright space. Uh, let's see. Um, okay. So let's see. So here are the four items you're going to do again, there are 12 under each. Uh, Padlet, uh, case studies, I think is where we were, uh, McGraw-Hill, um, you'll have actually 16 labs, but 12 activities. These are really short. The McGraw-Hill labs only take, oh, I'd say anywhere between 15 minutes and 45 minutes each. Case studies will take you anywhere from a half hour to two hours to do. Padlet's only maybe you know 15 minutes or a half hour um so anyway figure let's see half hour half an hour so total here is about two hours a week maybe and then the exams um they're 40 multiple choice questions um you have unlimited attempts the highest score is capped so you can take these as many times as you want they're not on lockdown browser, so you can use whatever you want. Uh, I really want you to do as well as you can on those. So, you know, take them as many times as you need to uh, or just take it once. But anyway, uh, the exams, uh, they might have, I think the timer set for like two and a half hours. I mean, it's you have plenty of time to do those. So anyway, you figure about three hours a week. 12 activities so probably like you know it's like 36 to 40 hours total is all so that's what i mean you could potentially get this done in a couple of weeks um depending on how much time you have uh let's see dates of interest uh are here and then course dates i there, there is a course calendar uh as well you can look at that it's pretty much the same thing is here like i said you can go through and do each unit week by week do all 12 till you get to the 12th of august uh, or you know you work at your own pace but that's pretty much it for the syllabus um now going back to d2l there's the syllabus again there i'm gonna go uh, back <clears throat> um let's look at textbook info uh, this will just take you out to open stacks. How to videos, those are going to be um, in YouTube and the YouTube channel. So you can click those. Now it's going to have Blackboard, I think, as the, as um, like for like the Dropbox. So I'll probably redo these at some point. But I think uh, from what I can tell, Brightspace is very similar to Blackboard. Uh, it's very user friendly. So um let's see helpful web links there's just a bunch of different web links uh they're associated with the padlets but uh anyway i just threw those in there they're certainly uh for your own you know use if you want to use them lab safety um there's a lab safety training quiz uh that's extra credit it's 11 questions so 11 points of extra credit there um, modules and units are going to have all of these items. So you may not even really go into modules and units. Um, you can, if you want, it's kind of set up. Uh, it looks a little daunting when you first kind of look at it, but, uh, there are folders for each of the units, but, uh, anyway, you can, you can use those if you want, but, um, like I said, oops, 
scroll down here. There we go. Let's go to power. So, so anyway, all of this over here uh, is in the, the modules and units. So again, you, I just, when I created this, I mainly created it, uh, these modules and units to be uh, mainly to, for my own organization. So, um, but I left them in there so you can, you can look at them if you want. Um, but really you're probably going to be hovering around here. PowerPoint uh, slides for all of the units are there. And then my videos are actually in our course YouTube channel. So, um, so you'll be, you can access that. In fact, it looks like I'm going to have to. I'll I'll put a link to the course YouTube channel because I don't think I have a link in here. Let me check over here. No, it doesn't look like it. So it must not have crossed over when I moved everything over. So I'll put the course YouTube uh, channel link uh, in here as well. I'll put it in an announcement uh, probably with this video. Um, so anyway, uh, Padlets. So... What you're going to do uh, for the padlets, where are there only 12? Oh. Oh, huh, looks like there are only 10. I'm going to, that doesn't make sense. Anyway, like I say, the, uh, um, the bright space crossover might not have anyway there'll be 12 if there aren't 12 in there it looks like there's something down here oh load more okay good i was gonna say yeah they're all in here all right sorry about that so yeah there they are you have to hit load more and then they'll they'll pop up for you all right so anyway um the link to the padlets are here so if you click that It'll take you out to the padlet. Oh no, not found. So I'm gonna have to get it get the link fixed for that. Um, shoot. Oh well, I'll do that tonight uh, or tomorrow. Um, hmm. Let me go check. Let me check something real quick. Sorry about that. Let's go to B. And then we're going to, I want to see if, I thought I had these fixed, but like I say, a bright space is new. So some little things sometimes need us to try this link. Nope, it's not found there either. So that's Kim Yogan, that's not me. All right, well, either way, um, I have those, so I'll figure out how to get the, um, the proper uh, link in there. Shoot. All right. Well, that's fine. I'll show you the quiz at least. It's just a one question quiz. So once you do the the padlets, there we go. All right, back to content. So let's see. So I'll put the padlet link in there. Like I said, I don't know why it's not in there. So either way. Uh, let's see, Padlet 1 Nervous System. So the quiz, once you do that, you're going to hit that, and then you'll scroll down, hit Start Quiz, and it's just a one question. I made a comment in this week's Padlet. I would assume you hit True, and then hit Submit Quiz, and that's it. That's 10 points. So you can, so you'll do that for the Padlets. Uh, let me see if... Yeah, here it is. Right, they're right here. So I'm not sure what's going on. So Padlet 1. It looks like this. So I'll just copy that link. So here's what, Padlet, here's what the Padlets look like. So when you click that, you'll have some videos that'll pop up. As well, this will be a link here. But uh, it does take a while. There's a lot of information uh, to populate. So as you can see, it takes it a little bit of 
a few seconds. It's still loading. There they go. So yeah, depending on what... I have a lot of windows open. Plus with Zoom going, that's part of the problem too. But anyway, these are the videos and the links for the videos. You can watch them within Padlet. But when you're ready to make a comment, you just hit this plus and then it's uh, basically like uh, doing a, a comment in any type of social media platform. So you can pick any one of these videos. There are... Some of them go further. There's one. This one is, is related to your case study. But anyway, those are the padlets. So let me go in here. X that out. Now let's see if we can get... All right, edit link, there we go. So then, update it. So then if I click that, there we go. So I'll p make sure all of those, that'll pop up. Sweet. All right, so I'll make sure all of those padlets are fixed. So you will be able to do those. Okay. So anyway, Padlet, and then the case studies are next. So you'll have one case study to do each week. And now, again, in our course YouTube channel, oop, which is right here, playlists. Okay, advanced a &P, view full playlist. All right, so I'll put the link for our playlist in here, but this shows how to do all of the case studies, how to take the exams. It also has all of my lecture videos in there. And then if you scroll down, I talk about all of the case studies. So please watch these videos. They'll give you some great info on uh, doing uh, the case studies. So let me copy that. I'll put, I'll put a link. Let's see. Take this off. So you guys are learning Brightspace along with me. Um, so let's go over to content. And then we're going to add a link for the course YouTube channel. Let's see. Add a module. YouTube channel link. Okay, and then we'll come down. We'll move that all the way up to the top. We'll put that right there. Okay. First YouTube channel link. Um, create a link. Title. Course YouTube channel. There we go. Okay, and then we'll paste that in there, open as an external source. All right, and then we go back to content. That should do it. Open a new window, and there it is right there. So when you click that, it'll take you out to our course YouTube channel. Okay, and then that'll give you another intro video. You can certainly watch it. It has a lot of Blackboard stuff, but um, but anyway, those are all of my lecture videos, and then I go through all of the case studies as well. All right, so let's go back here. All right, so, of course, YouTube channel link is there. Case study assignments are done. Let's go in there. So you have 12 case studies to do. Now, um, you'll be able to find the case study itself either here like this so it'll look something like this so that's the case study itself 
And then you're going to want to actually let me go up here and go back into student view, view as learner. Okay, so here we go. Case study one. So, and then the questions that you're going to answer. So that has the case study itself. And then this is what you're going to submit the case study questions. Now, this is a view only. So you're going to want to make your own copy, which means you can either click make a copy or you can download a Word document and type right into that. But either way, oops, you're going to want to create a Word document. Um, now, this diagnostic table, you don't have to use that. That's a, basically a flow chart you can use, certainly, uh, to help guide you through, but it's not necessary. I think um, the case study itself right here is enough for uh, should give you enough as well as again you want to watch the the youtube video in our course youtube channel which is going to be right down here starting at 5 18 and going for about a half an hour um, on this video i discuss case study one okay so again don't worry about the diagnostic table you, the only thing you need to submit is uh, the question or are the questions there okay and then once you're ready to submit it you click this, scroll down, and then here's where you put your submission. So you just hit upload, and then you'd find your document wherever it is. Um, you can save it. These are all PDFs, but you you know if you saved it as a as a uh, Word document, it, there we go. I'll just click that, and it's uploading it in. And then hit submit. And that's it. Very easy to submit uh, assignments, just like uh, Blackboard, you know, very similar uh, to that. Okay, so that is the case study set. So Padlets, just do the one question quiz after you've uh, done a Padlet entry. Case studies, uh, read through the case, click it, open it up, read through it, uh, have the questions open as well, and answer those, and then put... Uh, your document in the Dropbox. And then the labs, this is the McGraw-Hill. You're going to, uh, again, if you already had, um, if you've already had AMP at, at uh, Gateway, you'll already have, you have McGraw-Hill. So you'll use your same login for that. So you just click that and then it'll take you to the login. Just use the login you had for general AMP. Now, if you didn't have General AMP at Gateway, you don't have McGraw-Hill, uh, when you click that to open it, it'll give you the options to purchase it or to submit uh, some sort of code. Um, and again, you can get a two-week free trial. So I definitely would recommend doing that. You can get all of these labs done uh, within a couple of weeks. But uh, if you do need to purchase it, uh, please let me know that you have because you'll have a different link. It won't work. Um, it may not work with the link here, so I have a different link for you. But anyway, if you have issues with McGraw-Hill, just shoot me an email. Uh, and again, these only take 15 to a half hour to do, two minutes to 30 minutes. All right, and then the exam review questions, I've got links in there. Uh, these are Docs, uh, Google Docs, as well as Word Docs. So you can get the Google Doc here or the Word Doc here. But these are uh, some of the questions you might see in the exams. All right, then you click exams. And again, you have uh, unlimited time. Uh, I mean, it might be two and a half hours or something. But uh, let's see. Nope, no time limit. Estimated time required 120 minutes. So two hours at the most. Uh, you have unlimited attempts. And you can... Um, your highest score is recorded. So if I hit start quiz. It's going to give you all of the questions at once. So you can go through and some of them are filling, but mostly true false um, with some fill in. And anyway, there are a lot of different uh, items. So once you complete it, I do have to go in and, and grade some of the questions that uh, you typed. So it, it may not auto uh, fill it for you. But again, you have unlimited attempts at taking uh, these exams. So please um, 
you know, you can copy and paste these into Google and search for the answers that way. I mean, the, the goal for you is to try to get 100% on these. Just like in the clinic, you're going to have plenty of opportunities to collaborate with your colleagues to figure out uh, the right answer. And we need you to be 100% correct in the clinic. Um, there's not a lot of margin for error. And if that means using other resources, then by golly, that is what I really need you to do. So um, other than that... Um, Welcome to the course and welcome to Brightspace. Um, again, we've got about 12, 14 weeks or so. Uh, so you have plenty of time. You work at your own pace. And please reach out if you have questions uh, you know, via email. And uh, um, anyway, I reply very quickly, uh, usually within 24 hours to emails. So if I don't know the answer, I'll figure it out and get, get you the answer. But uh, generally, that's it. Is Now, as far as like, you know, your grade book and that, uh, you click grades. Um, again, I don't know. Um, looks like there's an app you can potentially get. Uh, but anyway, there's what the grade book will look like. And at the bottom... Here. All the, your labs and then your case studies. And there's the safety training quiz. It says it's out of point zero zero one, but it'll actually uh, that'll be extra credit. So I'll fill that out for you as you do those if you if you do that. Yeah. And that's it. And again, of course, will be out of twelve hundred. Uh, points total so you're just working to try to get to around 1080 uh let's see other than that uh, i'll be sending out announcements each week just kind of updating you on uh, if anything's changed or if we've got anything going on but uh again the idea is if you have questions please reach out um that's really all for now so i'm going to open the course uh, early a few days early uh, so you can try to get acclimated, try to, again, get access to McGraw-Hill. Um, and like I said, they do have the two-week trial if you need to do that. All right. Well, have a good one and uh, let me know if you need anything.